Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly over the top gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise. Paradise here on this gorgeous Saturday morning, August 26, 2017, here on the slopes of the Mount Baker Volcano, where it is day four of my uh, Bigfoot hunt. So uh, while I'm sitting here, since I forgot to bring a book to read, to while away the time waiting for Bigfoot to come find me, I'm just going to sit here and ramble a while about, uh, I don't know, I'm going to ramble a while about good people making bad mistakes and regret and personal responsibility and try to draw connections between this and why we are so fucked as a species and as a planet as we dig deeper into uh, whatever you want to call it, the world's first bioticide, the uh, sociopocene, as Derek Jensen calls it, or the moronocene. I think we're, I'm going to start calling this age the moronocene. And just certain events of the past few days which shall remain unspoken <clears throat> uh, have just got me to thinking, imagine that, got me to thinking about this whole notion of, uh, of, of making mistakes and taking responsibility for our mistakes and blah 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 and, and how this denial, this refusal to take responsibility for our mistakes from a personal level all the way to a species-wide level has brought us literally into the last days of at least the human race and quite possibly the planet. And you know, it's weird. I started, you know, I, I was racking my brain last night trying to drift off to sleep. You know, doing a personal survey in my own life about, you know, what is the biggest fuck up I have ever made in my life? And, you know, what is the biggest mistake I have ever made? And what did I do about it? How did I respond to it? Did I learn from it? And, and I got to admit, guys, uh, I, I really had and, and have a hard time thinking, uh, what is the biggest mistake I ever made in my life? Uh, you know, what, what is the biggest regret? And, and I'm somewhat proud to say, being a clueless fucking moron, that I don't have that many regrets for someone get for someone getting ready to turn 58 years old uh, after leading the life I have led. It, it's unbelievable how few regrets that I have. As I say, I, I'm both proud and embarrassed to admit because I, I, I fully understand that. Uh, I, I should be completely embarrassed and guilty about my entire life. Uh, and so, so, so this is the problem. So, you know, of course, when I started thinking, I just do, as this is the automatic default, when I started thinking about what is the, the biggest mistake I ever made, I started looking at my own teeny weeny little personal life. You know, looking at mistakes I have made mostly with women, bosses, real estate deals, uh, you know, regrets on missed opportunities to make piles of money that were just there in front of me. All I had to do was go pick up this plate of money and, and I botched it. 
uh, you know, there's the whole thing of uh, of mistakes that I have made that resulted in me getting fucked over by somebody else. Uh, you know, such as the 33 times, the 33 times I was robbed in the three years I lived in Costa Rica. But there you go, it's so easy to blame the victim. Yeah, there are things that I could have done differently, such as never gone to Costa Rica. Never had the experience of, of spending three years in Costa Rica, and I never would have been robbed 33 times. So yes, I could have hidden in fear here, uh, you know, and never had the adventure. But once again, that comes to blaming the victim. So I made the mistake of naively trusting the, the, the rest of humanity uh, not to fuck me. So if, if that was a mistake, then, uh, you know, then, then I'm guilty as charged. But I'm not the one who made the mistake. It was the fucking people who robbed me 33 times uh, who, who made the mistake. So, you know, I, I, I take that out of the equation. And, and, and I really am, as I say, both proud and embarrassed to admit that my mistakes I have made uh, and my regrets don't keep me up at night. Now, of course, <clears throat> we do have this matter of uh, this hurricane getting ready to, with up to 60 inches of rain forecast, getting ready to slam in to my uh, retirement nest egg in the middle of a floodplain east of Austin, Texas this weekend. So it could be this rant will sound very different uh, <laughs> about putting all of my eggs, well, not quite all of them, <coughs> but the vast majority of my retirement nest egg in one basket in a, in a house in the middle of a floodplain in Texas without one penny of insurance on it. So maybe I will have some regrets to keep me awake tomorrow night, but right now I don't. Uh, and so, you know, guys, we've all made mistakes. We are human. To err is human. To forgive divine, especially uh, to forgive ourselves, which should be the hardest thing to do, but of course it's the easiest thing to do. And it, it, it's just to it, it accept some fucking responsibility for your actions. It, it, you know, if, if you've done something stupid and, and you have been caught just, just bold-faced uh, making an absolutely horrendous, totally preventable, stupid mistake, you should just, and I will mainly... I was gonna say man up, but I guess uh, just say person up. J just fucking own it. Take some fucking responsibility. I if you are burned, uh, m you know, making a uh, making a mistake, take some fucking responsibility. Admit it was a fucking mistake, and apologize to anybody who was hurt by your stupid completely avoidable, preventable mistake. That's all you can do. Why is it so fucking hard? Y you know, when, when, when you're caught in, in the middle uh, of, uh, of, of just doing something absolutely unforgivably stupid that you're 100% guilty about, why is it so fucking hard? And, and, and it's just as hard for me as anybody else I'm not casting aspersions on any particular individual out there who, who might have made some mistakes. Uh, this is every goddamn one of us ha has made some mistakes. It's part of being human. 
and uh, it's part of our spiritual journey and hopefully uh, we're, we're supposed to learn something from them and, and one thing we should learn from them is how to take some fucking responsibility be a man have some fucking balls have a fucking spine or if you're a woman have, have some fucking ovaries and have a spine and, and own it and say I fucked up I am sorry uh, I'm going to learn from this and hopefully you will learn from this but we don't learn from it what we do as we've seen uh, recently uh, that the, the the person making the mistake what do they the, the immediate default position is to blame the person who was harmed by our fucking mistake that's the first thing uh, that, that we do. It's just, it's just an automatic human default. The first thing is it's, it, it, it's the, who we harmed, it's their fault. Not my fault. I didn't make a mistake. It was, it was the person I harmed is who and, 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 and other people caught up in, in, the, uh, in the drama surrounding my mistake. It's their fucking fault. You know, have some fucking balls. Have some fucking spine. But, uh, you know, I'm as guilty as anyone. You know, I'm looking back, although I've, I don't think I've ever made, and I'm talking in my own personal teeny-weeny little life, although I've never quite made the level of mistake that some people have made, thank God. You know, who are any of us? What's the thing about uh, ye who has never sinned be the first one to throw a stone or whatever the fuck Jesus said about it? Uh, you know, and so we need to try to forgive those people making a mistake. It would just be a hell of a lot easier to forgive people making a stupid fucking mistake if they would fucking own it. You know, it's a hell of a lot easier to forgive someone apologizing for their stupidity than for, for someone just absolutely taking no responsibility. Uh, and, and I'm probably as guilty uh, as anybody else. We all are. But, uh, you know, but, but of course... And this even took me a lot while I'm lying in bed last night, you know, trying to go to sleep, having all of these thoughts. What have I learned from the mistakes of others? And, uh, of course, what it is, is we need to peel this, this layer back, uh, this la peel the onion back a couple of layers, and you will find that your teeny weeny little personal mistakes is, is not what we need to be talking about. It, we need to be talking about, as Derek Jensen, uh, you know, in his latest book, The Myth of Human Supremacy, this is the big fucking mistake that every one of us have made. Every one of us uh, have made. Uh, that that we need to regret and uh, and uh, ha have some have some God take some goddamn responsibility for and own it. Uh, you know, I guess I you know I just conveniently forgot uh, in uh, you know in my own little personal survey. Uh, of, uh, of mistakes I have made that I have not owned and the regrets that I have uh, and what, if anything, I've learned from them. And, and it took about 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't, don't forget that $22,000 uh, credit card at Home Depot. You know, don't, don't forget your, your fucking 20 years of uh, flipping foreclosures taking advantage of other people's 
uh, catastrophes in their life, you know, taking advantage uh, of of other people's downfall so you can make a few fucking dollars, Hambone. How about that? Was that a mistake? How about the probably, I don't know how many millions of miles, millions of miles that I have driven in gas-sucking vehicles. Uh, I, I, I fully understand that this gas-sucking truck that I am so addicted to uh, is every time I, I turn the fucking key on the thing. I am making a mistake. I own it. But do you think I own it enough to stop driving the goddamn gas-sucking truck? Uh, you, you know, people who have been around might remember that I tried to give up the gas-sucking truck, and I made it for six and a half years. And then at the end of six and a half years uh, of, uh, of regretting uh, giving up my gas-sucking truck and whining about not having uh, my gas-sucking truck, at the end of six and a half years of that self-imposed exile, I looked around and, and did a little bit of research and found that in those six and a half years that about 300 million cars, new vehicles, were sold on this planet. As the, the number of vehicles on this planet went from one billion to two billion. And, and, and I understood it makes no fucking difference whether I own it or not. Uh, that, that I'm a guilty planet-eating uh, motherfucker every time I turn the key on that thing. I understood it makes absolutely no fucking difference. Same with uh, eating meat. Uh, I understand every time that I, that I put one of my fellow earthlings into my mouth that I am making a mistake. Uh, but, do you think that stops me from eating my fellow earthlings? Y you know? Uh, we're, we're, we're fucked, people. You know, we, we have this tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of people on this planet t taking the tiniest bit of personal responsibility uh, after, you know, first you have to pull your head out of your ass, and, and, and that takes care of over 99% of the people who, who, in their wildest imaginations going on through life, having zero, I mean, that they're having regrets about the mistakes they've made with the opposite sex and jobs and money, and, 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 not, and not spending one second of their entire lives thinking about the mistakes uh, they're making and the regret they should be having. Uh, and, and so it, it, then you have the few of us who are not clueless fucking morons and we go right ahead doing it while we're preaching against the very things we're doing. We're fucking hopeless. You know? And, and, and one reason is because we use the damn perfectly reasonable rationalization, we understand it doesn't make a fucking goddamn bit of difference what any one of us do. Uh, at this point, we are all victims. Vict yeah, right. Uh, this little victim mentality. But, but, but I'm copping it. We are all born into this culture. The, the, this ecocidal culture, the, this machine, this system, and, and there's not a goddamn thing that any of us are, are, are going to do to take any goddamn responsibility, and even if we do on our teeny-weeny little person, personal level, it doesn't make any difference. The system, the machine, the culture has to come down until this shit comes down, as, as, as Derek Jensen uh, 
repeats about 300 million times in the myth of human supremacy until this shit thing comes down, this planet is not going to stop being killed. There are seven and a half billion of us, uh, heading to 10 billion, uh, taking no responsibility on any level, uh, on a personal level, on a cultural level, on a species-wide level. You know, when, when, when some of the leading spokesmen, uh, you know, talking about uh, the collapse of a planet, refusing to take any personal responsibility for just, just some teeny weeny personal drama, it just, it just makes me completely fucking hopeless. Uh, nobody is owning up to it. And we're fucked. And we deserve every goddamn thing we have coming to us. So yes, we can call it the sociopathy, sociopathy, and, and blame it all on those. It's those blue meanie planet eaters. It's not me. It's those. It's, it's those guys. If we could just make the blue meanies go poof, that we would be li living in, in harmony and balance with this planet. If we could just make those sociopaths uh, go poof. Well, guys, as I say, we are definitely in the sociopathy. I agree with Derek Jensen, but I would take it one step farther. We're in the fucking Marana scene that uh, blaming, blaming this mess on those blue meanies uh, and, and, and refusing to take any personal responsibility. Uh, and, and, and then when you do take some personal responsibility, not doing a goddamn thing about it to, to change your own behavior because you realize changing your own behavior won't, do, won't, won't accomplish the goddamn thing, that we're fucked. So there you go. This is what I have learned from my own review uh, from events of this past week. This is what my personal review of my own moronic, guilty, mistake-riddled life of 58 years uh, of doing my part to take down this planet uh, has learned I have learned we are so fucked. Nice little dog. And with that, I'm gonna wrap up this little uh, whatever this rant was and uh, get back to Bigfoot hunting in the Marana scene. Smoke them if you got them, guys. Bye, guys.